Light's second supporting housing project. The Beacon of Light in Matlock will provide homes for seven people who might have experienced homelessness or other challenges. It's after a previous successful project and the River Network says there's need for even more provision in Derbyshire. Terry Eckersley is from River Network. Morning, Terry. Good morning. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm not too bad, thanks. How are you on a Sunday morning for a bank holiday? All good. All good in the hood. All good in the hood. Just tell us a little bit about Beacon of Light. Um, Well, it's our second housing project. Um, We've called it a Beacon of Light. Um, That's the sort of culture because it was another housing project before and there were quite a few challenges there. Um, as, As we've taken over, that's the culture that we've set that it's not going to be a project with darkness and challenges, but it's actually going to be a a beacon of light. And and that's the way that we've set it up. And that's the way it's it's running, you know, even in its early days now. After tear, how does River Network help people who've been struggling? Um, Well, lots of ways. We don't just have a have housing projects. We do. um, We've got a community allotment. We've got a food bank. We help families, we help young people. So we do lots of stuff, holistic support and development for for people in the community, really. When I speak to a lot of people who have local businesses or they're out there working, self-employment, I always say, oh, it must be good to be busy, but that must feel the exact opposite. You must be more stretched than ever, I imagine, at the moment. I think it's always a challenge when you're pioneering something um and yes there's need i don't like using the word busy because people say oh you're busy terry and uh, on on the surface it looks like that but i like to say we're fruitful and effective because busy you can get into you know busy body or busy fool so you've got to be paced yourself so you can be fruitful and effective otherwise you can be running around like a headless chicken and not really helping people or helping yourself. I was that for an answer. Yeah. Wise words indeed, Terry, especially for this time on a Sunday morning. Crikey, you've been up early. There you go. <laughs> so what happens when people leave the supported housing projects? Do you know what? That's a really good question and so timely. Have you been researching us? <laughs> <laughs> there you go there you go because we're actually just moving somebody on and it's somebody who's been homeless there was actually street begging there was class a drugs so one of the most serious cases you could think of and then they've been in supported housing for about eight years been with us for two months and um we've been able to get them stable the stable now um you know paying the rent not on hard drugs um actually been involved in service user involvement we call it so helping in the development of the projects did some great work on one of the patios um and we're just moving him into a beautiful one bedroomed sort of stone cottage bungalow in Bakewell, um, and that's just happening now this this coming coming week. Um, so we've been working with him on that. We'll we'll continue to offer support and help him get integrated back into the community. And you can say, well, how would you do that? Well, I've even been talking to him about, you know, it'd be good to get involved in, you know, serving at a local charity shop, and you get involved in that part of the community and you know development and and just getting a good support plan in place where people have got something to do every day of the week even on one day of the week you know that's a day off but just getting a support plan where people can get involved in the community training development that that kind of stuff it must be so rewarding this is your second project in matlock so how well does the previous project work well do you know what we've just add a we call them a a house meal we had our second one um just this last week on a wednesday night where we come together prepare a meal so it's everything from fruit food preparation to budgeting um we had a lovely african meal a lady came in um and prepared that with with the with the residents so that was really successful and to see the all the different and wonderful kinds of people 
who are in there and them actually getting on so well and like a family environment and culture was amazing. And we had two local PCSOs, um, you know, the police community officers who came along and um, it was just amazing. And, and you asked, how oh, successful is it? Well, the success really is in that that's happening and people are, are getting stabilised, getting involved, paying the rent, learning simple life skills, which really it's the simple life skills that, that keep us all stabilised, I'd say. But also the local police have told us since we took over the project that antisocial behaviour calls have plummeted and incidents like hardly any and non-connected to us. And this is like, um, on a Sunday morning, this is like a major miracle because <laughs> these projects were renowned, you know. And even a local council, it's quite funny, somebody was moving into the second project. Um, they were down at the council very early in the morning and councillor Sue Burfoot bumped into them and said, you know, what are you here for this early? Oh, I need housing, I'm homeless. And um, which, which, what are you looking to get into? Oh, River Network, Terry and Jill Eckersley. And she said, well, wow, the, this pro these projects, there's a lot of challenges going on, but since they've taken over, it's amazing, you're gonna get really looked after. So, you know, I, I'm giving you quotes here and statistics that, that, you know, the proof's in the pudding, isn't it? Absolutely. And there must be a time where you never don't need support. So what support in particular do you think that you're focusing on at the moment? How can people help? How can people help us? Um, I think in, in many of ways, I mean, if people want to volunteer, they can go to rivernetworkcharity.org.uk slash um, volunteer. Um, if people, that's if people want to give the time, if they want to give financially, it's the same rivernetworkcharity.org.uk slash giving. So people can, can give the, the time or some of the treasure. Um, um, people can pray for us. That's always good. And um, I think I think that's the, the three major ways people can support and help us, you know. Well, Terry, keep up the good work. It's really good to talk to you. Thank you so much. Have a great